Bailey's not only relaunching Ding Dong Hello, she's retooling it and planning to release it weekly to compete with The Bump. Now, not that I can't beat her in viewers, but she's clearly doing it just to get under my skin. Can you get under her skin first before she makes this into a ratings war? We have enough of those in this business. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, L. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of, and that dream is about to become a reality. A match against Bailey is opportunity. Ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Hello. Hopefully, this young lady doesn't get the door slammed in her face. Here comes the role model. And representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Finally, she has put the four horsewomen in the rearview mirror and calls the shots on her own. Yeah, sadly, the hugs are long gone, and now Bailey is a brash, ruthless competitor. Oh, get up. She popped those crappy, inflatable friends to become a bona fide role oh, model. Yeah, Worst night of Byron's life. Bailey found inner rage. And listen, I know I felt her verbal tirades on live television. They're not fun. Well, you can't say that Bailey is a dominant force turned mastermind since returning at SummerSlam. And she's caused a lot of damage ever since. Bailey in action tonight, taking on a legacy superstar who still finds herself with a lot to prove. I've heard Bailey is interested in relaunching her talk show. Ding dong. Hello. This could do it. And she breaks free before a one count. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Made her pay for her mistake. Oh, oh my lord! Ooh, clothesline delivered. in the corner. Turned that one around. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Oh. She got her down. Is this it? And shoulders up before a count of one. Not time to expect victory yet. Ah, oh, the jaw getting rattled. saw that coming, producing a trampling. Oh, man. Cinches up the arm in a series of boots. She's feeling the hurt here. Oh, man, by the hair. Air whip. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. She just tossed. She could airline mouse for that. He's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Shoulder breaker. Bailey showing no answer for the attack. Bailey looks to be well measured right now. That's 
a prime example of pulling out all the stops towards the victory. It just goes to show you, sometimes you've got to dig deep to compete. Oh, there's an arm breaker oh. right to the spine. Double underhook applied. Up and face buster. Looking for the victory. Why? She had it right where she wanted her. She doesn't want the suffering to end, that's why. She's ready for that. And that goes to show you what Bailey thinks of her. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. And now what is she doing? Leaving the ring? She's taking time to strategize, Saxton. It's being smart. Gets inside the ring. Oh, there's an arm breaker right to the spine. And Bailey's having trouble managing his onslaught. Bailey's getting beaten to the punch with every exchange. Held in a perilous position. and clawing. This could be it. She pops the shoulder up in one. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. And she dodges that one nicely. Tremendous series of kicks. Oh, man. Look at these shots. The DeVille combo, Saxton. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Nice go behind, up across the shoulder. That could end Bailey's night. Is it enough? The cover! And the kick out. Can Bailey now mobilize? She had enough to kick out, but needs to get on the offensive now. But if we see one more devastating move again, this can be over soon. still has some fight left. Placed into the corner. What are we going to see here? Off the second row. Oh, and to the guillotine. Bailey is down under pressure. From the top, big miss right there. Big form. Guillotine's in, draining the life out. Gotta find a way out of the guillotine. They're not gonna last long while well, we're gonna bridge it out. Incredible. There's Chris. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Oh man, by the hand. She's bringing the pressure on now. The momentum is clearly turned to her favor. Arm sits and look at these series of boots. And we see the attention being put on the torso area. Insulting. Oh, reversal by Bailey. Bailey managing to find some of that needed breathing room. She was getting grinded down, but that could have just started. by her. Brutalized with kicks and a big clothesline. And Bailey's having trouble. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulder. That puts her in total control. Cover! Two! It wasn't enough. She kicked out. Well, Bailey is certainly displaying a great amount of toughness. It's not easy to kick out of that. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impact. We're trying to roll looking for the win. Look at the bridge, too. And she fights it off. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. She wants to put an end to things here. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravate on the top. It's going down. Everything's going against her now. Yeah, her defensive instincts are all that's...
Incoming! Connected with the moonsault! Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Beautiful athleticism. Nice go behind. Up across the shoulders. Into the glory bomb! I don't care who you are, you can't survive any more of those. There's two! Tonight, she really looked like she was bored to do this. And more than almost anyone else, she was. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter. You know I'm not one to gossip, except when I hear what superstars say when they don't realize they're still on mic. Indy Hartwell and Lacey Evans were talking about you, and Indy was all, I don't reckon her finisher is all that strong. And Lacey said, I don't know about that, Indy. Then Indy said, my finisher is so much stronger, and everybody knows it. So, do you feel like getting in the ring and seeing who can finish the match first? No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. One half of the women's tag team champions, L. Given her history and ability, it's hard not to expect big things from this superstar. It's not that hard, Saxton. Potential means nothing compared to results. Let's see if she can get those. This is a woman ready to do some damage. An up-and-coming talent in the women's division. If you ask Indy Hartwell herself, Cole, she's not up-and-coming. Indy believes she is already main event worthy. Right, and from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Been successful her entire career from Australia to NXT, now ready to conquer WWE. Yeah, you what know, gives Indy Hartwell that advantage is her incredible strength. She almost always has the size advantage inside the ring. Has already seen so much success in NXT and WWE. Yeah, but Cole, Indy Hartwell is only getting better. Andy Hartwell takes on one half of the tag team champs in a rarely seen finisher match. Yeah, there's rumors that Indy Hartwell has been saying that her finisher is substantially better than anyone else's, which led to this unique stipulation here tonight. Well, everyone always thinks their moves are the best, and if you don't, well, then that's a problem. Tremendous series of kicks. the kidneys and a big clothesline. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. Come on. Can't prepare your face for that. Just driven into the mat. She sent flying into the corner. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Big impact. Hartwell strongly defend herself. Indy needs to be resourceful in this situation. She is looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Oh boy, come on, not the chair. Big 
Bad clothesline. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. Take off. You gotta be kidding me. And it doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Stomping. Ouch. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Bad predicament right here. Oh. And she is rapidly dictating the pace. Yeah, she's really keeping her opponent contained. She's starting to tire a little. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Sidewalk slam. Battling ringside. Now our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. She's got her on our announce table. This is not going to end well, gentlemen. What does she have in mind? There's the swing. That's it. Calling it by knockout. Here is your winner. And no other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Hey, I'm interviewing superstars about their favorite WWE matches ever for a special on the bump, and I was wondering if we could chat. Sure, why not? Happy to help with all bump-related needs. So what's your favorite Justine match? Why do you assume my favorite match ever is a Justine match? Isn't it? Besides, it's much more fun for our viewers if you talk about your legend aunt. Gotcha. Well, if you insist on me talking about Justine... I do. Was there anyone you especially loved to see her take on? Actually, there was a match with Molly Holly from Raw I watched on repeat growing up. The crowd was on fire, the back and forth drama was insane, and Justine pulled off one hell of a victory. I'd love to interview you about it. Do you think you can remember what episode it aired on so I can pull some clips for the bump? I'll see what I can do. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, Justine. From Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly.
Hey, I saw your interview on the bump with Kayla. Pretty wild to see those clips, too. I remember that victory fondly. I had a good time on the show. Kayla was pretty insistent that I talk about you. Eh, what can I say? I draw ratings. I was a little surprised you chose that match, though, for as resplendent as my win was. Really? It was good. Just not my personal favorite. What's yours? I'm not sure if there's just one, but it would be any match I had with China. Facing her with something really special. Honestly, I was probably a little jealous, which added some extra fire to my fight. Jealous? Of China? Why? Well, there was that whole period where management let China do basically whatever she wanted. Enter the Men's Royal Rumble, compete for the Intercontinental Championship. You know, stuff the guys always took for granted. Her IC title win was pretty epic. She was fierce against anyone she faced, myself included. In fact, for all my confidence, I was never sure when I was fighting her if I was going to come out on top. You know, I should probably get Kayla footage of one of my China matches. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, Justine. From Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China!
Thank <laughs> you. 